happy to please support uh, this uh, bill and this We would like to compliment Senator Mitch for her unwavering support on this issue. She's been a champion of this for many, many years. Uh, unfortunately, uh, last year, uh, the bill did not get through both, out, uh, both the Senate and the House. It did pass the Senate, a uh, bill for the release, but it did not pass the House. So we lost it here. Um, we are firmly committed as an organization for the path to $15 an hour, but we get there one jump at a time. And this is a very significant jump. And again, I think uh, Senator Lynch is to be uh, commended for her efforts in this arena. Um, $90 a week, that's the difference right now between Rhode Island and Massachusetts. For a low-income person, or for a lot of people, $90 a week is a lot of money. And we are getting further and further behind from our neighbors, uh, particularly Mass and even Connecticut. A lot of the people who work in particularly the big retail stores and the fast food stores, they are very profitable companies. And yet in Massachusetts, they can find a way to make sure these people are being paid $12.75. Our people in Rhode Island are making $10.50. The price of the food and the price of the products you buy are the same. So really, think about it this way. Rhode Island is subsidizing, Rhode Island minimum wage low income workers are subsidizing these big corporate entities with their headquarters out of the state. It's like money flying out of the state to go to them instead of staying in the pockets of Rhode Islanders who will spend the money in the local economy. The Department of Labor uh, estimates that there are about 25 to 30,000 people who make the minimum wage in the state of Rhode Island. It's a lot of people. This is a very significant piece of legislation. And uh, again, we thank you for your efforts in the past hope that uh, this will be a very good step, uh, particularly getting in October. I know there's been some opposition to that, but we've already lost a year, so let's let's not lose any uh, any any further time. So for all those reasons, we fully support this subject. Any questions? Senator Lombardi. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, George. George, I heard on numerous occasions today, I think three or four times that. Massachusetts and Connecticut have a higher minimum wage than Rhode Island. They certainly do. But you know the cost of living, how much more the cost of living is in Mass and Connecticut than Rhode Island? Excuse me, how much would be cost of living? Um, I, I really don't know. Um, well, I think it would probably vary from what communities you're talking about. Well, the cost of living, and, and you're right, but as, a, as a whole state, I have 27% higher cost of living in Mass and 12% higher across the living in, in uh, Connecticut than Rhode Island. I think that's important to know that you know, if, if, if it's 27% less expensive to live in Rhode Island. I'd like, I'd like to see those figures because that certainly uh, doesn't, doesn't square with what people are going through, particularly low-income people who are paying a bigger percentage of their income or their revenue on rent Or gasoline, of course, the Lord and stuff that people spend their money.